Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm so glad to have you guys back here and welcome to all the new people joining in today's episode. We are going to be channeling and making this beautiful uh, painting with moon, sky. Uh, it's actually a nighttime sky with nighttime reflection, stars, amazing things. A few different steps on this painting. We also get a pesky visit from our mess up a corn and then we also channel our inner bob ross so enjoy the shows okay so as you can see it's real basic here i've got <laughs> one basic color plain acrylic white right here and i got my plate right here just ready to go i've got more of like a like a small to medium sized brush for this one here and the bristles themselves are pretty loose okay um, we want to make sure that they're not really super stiff and they're not all close together. They're kind of loose right here, very easy to move. Um, I've also got a cup full of water and that is going to be very important because actually it's a different kind of step. What I want you to do is you're going to take that brush that you have, you got your plain acrylic paint right there, and we're going to kind of water down some of this white paint and just really kind of douse it. We're going to put a lot of water right in there and you can see it's just thinning out the paint so it's pretty pretty vital that we actually do this on this step here because um, we're going to be adding some stars that's how we work from these um, paintings we start from the back and work our way forward that way you don't have to outline every little detail and you can just kind of dunk some water in there and you can see this really thinning out i know it's difficult to see on that white plate right there but that paint is really actually thinning out quite well so work on that Thin out your paint, and then we're gonna start this thing up. Okay, now I've got you close up to this black canvas. I know it's a little bit glossy right there with that paint, um, so just bear with me. I will try to fix that in our editing here, but um, what I want you to do is really just take that brush that you got. You can see I've got it almost liquefied. That water, water is just really dripping that paint, and you can kind of dab or blot some of that off on your plate. It's okay, you don't need all of that paint. You know on your you know on your brush there and because we want to just practice this and so really you know you could do pointillism with stars you know dot 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 but this is a much easier step it's a little bit more messier but it's more fun too um, you just take your index finger right here whatever you want you can do the, that one or that one whatever um, you just kind of hold your brush really kind of near the canvas and just flick that brush now as we do this it's creating all these little dots little stars really pretty step and it's not so even it's all different now if you look up in the stars and sky you can see that it's all over the place um, but these are just plain white stars and we're going to do this all over our canvas here so i'm hoping you can see yeah you can see a little bit of that i'm going to kind of block there Ooh, see you can see right there i'm going to add some more white watered down paint on my brush again you can dab some of it off if you'd like you don't need all that paint on there and go ahead and keep flicking some of that now some of your clusters could be you know pretty close together it looks like there's maybe a, a formation galaxy or stars and the milky way is just shining on you it's all right now if you get carried away you know we can overcome that we can fix things you know just like i've been showing you in some of the other episodes all right but again i'm just getting you started here and we are having some fun with this gal look at that i just kind of added a lot Ooh. but hey we're gonna let it we're gonna go with it remember we can make mistakes it's all good happy accents right all right so you can see just having fun with it just play around with it see what's right for you and we just go from there we're gonna continue on with our next step by adding one of our, um, more of a glow effect for our moon, all right? So a nice glow. Well, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on some glow for a moon that we're gonna make on our painting. You can go ahead and rinse that one brush off, dry it off, kind of get all that white off there. The next color we're gonna be using is plain acrylic blue. So go ahead and grab your blue. Now this one we don't actually need to you know, mix any of that water in. Um, that black will kind of soak up some of this blue. And you'll see what I mean as we put it 
on our painting here. But what I want you to do is kind of maybe start somewhere here in the middle and just do like a nice circular motion. All right, and what you're gonna see is your blue is gonna start to come a little bit lighter. It's starting start to have like maybe a glow effect um, on your canvas here. And it's that blue is gonna soak into that black quite a bit. You're gonna see that naturally just happening. And it's okay if you're starting to cover maybe some of those stars that you made, no big deal. We can go back, we can add more, things like that. But again, we just wanna kinda of get you started here with these uh, basics. So, circular motion, I'm kind of now expanding out with this blue. And as you can tell, just like I said, man, it is like soaking into that black. That's all right. That is totally fine. Now we wanna make it almost come in right about this size right here. You can see that uh, there's some blue right there. Now you don't have to be perfect with your circle. Remember, this is just kind of a glow effect that we're working on. So you do wanna make it at least kind of like a circle, but it, if for all my perfectionists out there, don't worry about it. If it's a little bit off, it is okay. And you'll see what I mean as we come up here. And again, I'm just kind of expanding this paint out, okay, little by little, and just taking it off my brush until it kind of dries off. You can hear that paint getting dry on that canvas. This is just a fun little detail step. This won't make or break your painting at all. This is just some fun detail stuff, but I love how the impact happens. So now you can see, look at that kind of bluish, dull circle right in there. Uh, we're gonna have some fun with some mixing now. You got that white on your plate still. It's still a little bit watery, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and mix some blue and our white, making kind of a nice powdery light blue. Now everybody's gonna have a different powdery light blue. There's no right or wrong blue on here. But we're just gonna make that nice medium base powdery blue. Now, you can keep the same brush that you're using just for now. And we're gonna start with our little circle here. And we're gonna start small, just like we did at the beginning. And we're gonna start expanding out now with this lighter color. And the reason why we started with the basic blue in the back is so it has that kind of glow effect The lights coming off of this moon and look at this okay so go ahead and I want you to just kind of work on your basic just go with the circle now if you need to switch to a different size brush maybe a smaller size brush totally go for it you find what's gonna work best for you as you start to expand and make that circle happen a little bit better but take a look, you know, it's starting to highlight, starting to low light a little bit. Don't worry about, again, perfection at this point or any kind of perfection at all, really, at any point. You know how we roll. And boom, look at that. Just, it's starting to form. That glow effect is starting to form. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna Go ahead and let this start to dry off a little bit and we're going to really start adding some bright vibrant colors in here using the same colors same same two colors blue and white so keep those handy work on that and then what we're going to do now is we're going to start so we're going to switch over to maybe a, a smaller to small medium size brush all right make it happen okay so there you go you've got kind of a nice glow effect this is gonna be surrounding our moon, all right? So we're actually gonna put a nice brighter moon right kind of in the middle here. And you'll see what I mean, why we did that simple effect just to make such a great impact. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my blue, my white, and I'm gonna make more of a lighter powder light blue. So I'm gonna take some of that light blue that we made and mix it into some of our white. And that's gonna brighten things up quite a bit. You'll see it right away, it's gonna happen. 
And we want it to be a little bit brighter now because you're going to start really shaping the circle out. So what I want you to do now though, instead of going in a round circular motion, maybe start dabbing a little bit. Blotting or dabbing right in the center. All right, now while you're doing that blotting or dabbing technique, you're gonna expand out just a little bit at a time. And you're gonna take this paint as far as you can go without putting any more paint on your brush. It's gonna lift up some of that blue that was down below. It's still trying to dry, but it's not quite there yet, so it's gonna lift it up. And as you do that, you're gonna still make your circle. All right, we'll fine tune it soon, but I want you to dab or blot. Look at those textures that are starting to come off of your brush by that different new technique. So you can see it's just really, really pretty. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just add just a nice effect here. Now keep expanding. Now eventually we wanna go out to pretty close to where that light blue kind of finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get ahead of you here and start to shape it out so you know what I'm talking about. Then when, of course, once you run out, let's put some more blue on your brush. And you've already got your guide of a, a circle, so kind of go with your circle guide. What I mean by that is you already did it with your highlighting your blue on there. And when you're doing this middle part, no perfection. All right, check this out. Just blot and dab. I want you to just put the paint down first, okay? That's it. And then, then we'll start making that shape. Now, of course, you're probably looking at it straightforward. I want to do the same here as we continue this. All right. So I'm going to let you work on this. Again, expand out. And I'd say I'm going to make, I'm going to make a circle here just so you know how far we're going to probably go. All right, we're gonna probably go all the way right here, okay? So if you want to, you can, of course, make a line like that just to help yourself as a guide too. And you can practice making a circle like this as well. Again, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. I just want you to, again, get that nice, awesome circle effect and start making that beautiful moon. All right, you can see Again, no perfection. We want you to kind of mess up, but definitely try to get as best to a circle as you possibly can. All right. I'm gonna let you work on that. Keep on going, and we're gonna add some more highlights coming up next. Okay, so we're starting off with like trying to get some better highlights in our moon. All right, so you can see we got the basic shape right now. It's got some texture in it, and you wanna just add some plain white with a little bit of blue, all right? A little bit more of a brighter blue. Now check this out. As you start dabbing and blotting, you're gonna see a new kind of texture start to come out. You're gonna see a little bit more depth, which is, wait, do you guys hear that? I, I think I hear something. Oh no, it's the mess up a corn. No, 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 oh gosh. Oh gosh, here comes the mess up a corn. No, no, no. Mess up your painting! It's messing up our painting! No! Oh my gosh! What are we gonna do? No! Mess up a corn! No! Oh my gosh! Oh no! I worked so hard on my painting! What am I gonna do? It's the mess up a corn! No!